Let me ask you about a report in Dropside, and it says that uh, Secretary Clinton, uh, Blinken uh, approved a policy to bomb eight trucks. That's what, what an Israeli cabinet member said. Are you aware of this report, and do you have any comment on it? I am aware of the report, and I'm, I'm glad you asked me about it. Look, the suggestion that we in any way signed off on bombing humanitarian conv convoys is absurd. It's just not true. Um, of course, Israel has the right to target Hamas militants. That has always been the case. And so, look, if, if you had a situation where Hamas commandeered a convoy, and Hamas militants were operating a convoy, of course Israel would have the right to strike those militants. That's not been the situation that we've seen over the past year, except in some very limited circumstances. There have been a few reports here and there of Hamas commandeering convoys. Um, uh, in most cases, returned quickly to the humanitarian organizations. It has not been, uh, there's not been any widespread evidence that we have seen of Hamas actually taking convoys and commandeering them, which is, I think, the, the scenario or the, the proposition of this scenario um, presumes. So the strikes that Israel has conducted on humanitarian convoys have been times when they have had failures in their deconfliction processes, where they have had fa uh, intelligence failures, and when they've just made basic mistakes. And the thing that we have made clear about those is that those mistakes are unacceptable and that humanitarian workers need to be protected and humanitarian aid, aid needs to be protected. So the idea that we, that anyone in this department signed off on bombing humanitarian commerce is just absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm.